So this could be uh, one of the first Alibaba units to actually go public. What should we be watching out for? Well, um, you know, I guess from the 666 page perspectives that they have actually filed last night, have to admit I'm not through with it yet. But, um, you know, this is an interesting <laughs> um, IPO given that there are a number of the logistics um, IPOs, um, pending listings out there. We're talking about the secondary from um, Shunfeng. We're talking about, you know, a um, potential listing of the Indonesian base, JNT. So, you know, there's this IPO frenzy that's going on among the logistics companies, we will see an expansion of their overall capacity, to put it in very simple terms. And I think, you know, the landscape itself going into 2024, we can actually expect like, you know, logistics cost, etc. itself with economics of scale, operating efficiencies. I do think that this is going to be beneficial um, for not just the listed companies, but for their customers as well. You talk about uh, sort of, you know, Sanya really w wanting to see that domestic and international expansion as well. How much demand has there been given? There has been some kind of, you know, weakness when it comes to the consumer economy, certainly. Does this kind of give a bit more confidence to the likes of Shunfeng, for example, when it comes to fundraising, depending on how this plays out? Well, um, that's a good question. I think clearly, you know, the, these companies, China in particular, um, they are trying to expand into the last mile um, delivery or, you know, do get a bigger market share in that area itself. There are variations and uh, differences in where these companies are positioned. Tainiao, Shunfeng, JD Logistics, not forgetting that, as well as JNT. Um, but again, of course, you know, the underlying demand for the deliveries as well as the efficiency still remains very strong based on what we have seen from the businesses as well as the consumers um, on the ground. So it's, it will be interesting to actually see where some of these proceeds are going to be used going into 2024.